Hello there ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, Tactical Bacon 0 here bringing you a quick look at Castle Storm. Castle Storm is a genre mixing tower defense offense brawler that is pretty fun. I I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, it offers single player and multiplayer co-op achievements, leaderboards, all kinds of things. It is from Zen Studios, the people who brought you Zen Pinball. As always, let's take a look at the options menu first. How to play. Um, kind of... I guess it's kind of informative. For some reason, the, uh, the mouse... You hear this? This is me scrolling. It's not responding to scrolling. Some of the, um... The controls are really non-responsive. I mean, really. I can't even scroll this. Can I scroll this, please? I would love to scroll this. Thank you. So yeah, that's the instructions. Controls. Fully rebindable keyboard controls and mouse controls. Pretty nice. Controller presets. Stay away from those. Settings menu. Audio. Fully adjustable for individual preference. Very nice. I'm liking it so far. Video. Here is where I ran into a problem. Of all of the resolutions that they see fit to choose, I do not see 1080p anywhere in this list. So if I want to go full screen, it will be nasty and it will be terrible. It will be stretched and pixelated. There is no resolution option for 1080p. For the game, violence, blood on, inverting aim, very good. The game feels like it is designed for a mobile interface, like a touchscreen. But then once you get into it, it feels like it would be terrible with a touchscreen. And it just results in a bad UI choice. There are four game modes. Campaign, which is like a story mode to introduce you to all the mechanics. Skirmish mode, which gives you configurable fights against different people in different areas. Survival, which is a see how long you can last mode. And there's also hero survival, where you play as apparently one of the multiple heroes that are unlockable by yourself with no ballista. Anyways, let's get into the campaign. I have... I've played about an hour and a half of this. I've gotten through a few of the worlds. And now we are on the final breakthrough. Interesting. The friend that I will be reviewing this, uh, the co-op with, has not gotten this far in the single player yet. That is interesting. So that'll be interesting when we take a look at that later. Uh, for each mission you get to prepare. You have equipment. Each equipment provides a certain bonus. You can have an armory. Pantry, which gives you more meat, uh, more army size, prison, which gives you more gold at the end, increases the strength of the castle walls. These are your individual troops. As you can see, there's still some that I have not unlocked yet. Your magic abilities. Each of these can be upgraded to have more powerful skills. I feel like I'm in a comfortable position here, and these are your individual attacks they are all very pretty pretty powerful as long as you upgrade them effectively I'm gonna upgrade my tri stone because that seems to be one of the most effective weapons that I have at my disposal all right the castle in order to access any of those unlockables you have to construct a castle now you can either use the pre-configured designs or use the level editor. And as you were seeing before, when I was trying to grab things on the menu, the controls are not exactly ideal. 
Some things are difficult to grab, some things are difficult to place down, and every time you want to place something, it, it's very difficult to grab it in the right place. So let's say I want to use the treasury bonus that I've unlocked. I would have to select it, find a place in the castle for it, and then drop it there. And then arrange the rest of the castle in a way that it'll still look good and protect the rooms that are most valuable. Because any room that gets destroyed, you no longer have access to. I did find one small problem. If you do not save your castle, um, apparently it does not show up. Now, uh, I had this problem where I had to load my castle that I previously built. And then if I just quit from there after loading it, it would not save it into the game. So I had to save the castle again, overwriting the one that I just loaded in order to have it save into the game. Now, they don't really go into this. They don't ever explain it. But you can select up to seven... I've unlocked 17 different configurations of the castle, which all provide different bonuses. I'm going to be using the pre-configured castle Stonewatch. Seems to have a good variety and a fairly good level design. I'm going to select that one rather than one that I built. All right, gold, as you saw before, is how you upgrade all of your equipment, troops, and attacks. You gain bonus gold for completing bonus objectives and completing it on harder difficulties. The main objective is to destroy the enemy castle. Bonus objective is to get 10 frenzy kills. You get a frenzy when you get a five kill streak. So let's jump on into the game. Destroy the enemy castle. I'm gonna start off by deploying some troops. Troops are deployed based on the amount of meat that you have. They're also on a cooldown timer so that you cannot deploy too many at once. Right now I'm firing my ballista to get rid of some of the troops that they just sent out. And now I have a frenzy. As you can see, very effective. All right, I'm going to put out a, a few other troops that I have. I'm not going to go into too much detail into troops, but you've got your basic long range, short range, you've got your healers, you've got your heavies, and you have your cavalry. Pretty much standard fare in any kind of game similar to this. So once you are fairly certain that your troops have things under control, I will begin my assault. I'm going to drop Apple Bomb on here. Try to blow some holes in their castle. The stones that you saw me upgrade earlier. I will launch that in an Angry Birds fashion. Trying to destroy their castle and crush the pigs inside. All right, and sheep unlocked. You will see a lot of similarities between the attacks that you have in this game and Angry Birds. I don't know if that was intentional or just there is no level variety or attack variety that can be made anymore. Just that everything has already been done so far. I am play playing the game on normal difficulty. Alright, I just deployed my hero. Your hero is a very powerful unit that can seriously change the tide of battle and do all kinds of things. As you can see, I just cleared the entire battlefield pretty easily with my hero. All right, time to deploy some more troops. Apparently they've all died while I was doing other things. That forward march that sounds exactly like a sound effect I've heard in Age of Empires many times. I'm not sure if that is the same sound effect. If it is, that could be a problem. Alright, 
All right, castle looks to be about halfway destroyed. Let's send the sheep in there. Oh my gosh, they are coming in hot. Who am I going to send in there? Oh, that was surprisingly effective. But yeah, as you can tell, it looks like it was designed for a touch interface. But if you were actually using this on a touch screen, I can't imagine it being that easy to control. Alright, let's take this castle out. Seriously? Come on. Take out the top at least. Nothing. The graphic style is pretty good. The graphics aren't that great, however the aesthetic is very pleasing. Um... Yeah, I, I can't say that it hurts my eyes. Looks alright. And... Big part of their castle just got destroyed. Apparently the fart-powered sheep just destroyed a bunch of things. What else can I do to accelerate this a little bit? Call in some more troops. More boulders? Let's go. Send them in. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Castle is almost destroyed. Ooh, they've destroyed two of my rooms. That's not good. They only have one room left. And I'm targeting that room now. And it's destroyed. Achievement unlocked. Saddle up your donkeys. Now, the story is not exactly this game's strong point. Hmm? There are no voiceovers. Um. I guess that was supposed to be exciting. Ooh, 9,000 gold. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. More unlocks. I'm liking all of these things. So as you can see, I got a grand total of 16,000 gold. That is slightly unusual. I usually get about a third of that. You get stars based on time, accuracy, difficulty, and of course bonus objective completion. Gives you all kinds of statistics and automatically puts you on the leaderboards with your friends. Very fun game, um, aside from certain interface choices, I would say, I, I would definitely recommend this on sale. Currently it is available for $9.99 or your regional equivalent. Uh, I would recommend waiting for this for a sale if you are looking to pick it up. Next up, we have a quick look at the co-op multiplayer, which I will be taking from my Twitch stream. Um, it will be slightly lower quality, but it should give a good impression of the co-op. What are we playing? Are we playing versus first? Um, I don't know. Would you like to try? I think we should try survival, because you're a lot better at this than I am. Alright. I see how it is. Um... Create player match? I'm looking at that, yep. Yes, invite only. 
I guess, kingdom? Okay, so there's a few worlds that we have to choose from. Oh, let's try King's Keep, why not? Next. Um, that's not a good sign. We should, uh, we should play using my, my setup. Oh, let me invite you. Okay. So, um, I guess we're going to be using my castle, which is highly upgraded at this point. Well, sort of highly upgraded. That's a good thing, right? Oh, we can't use hero spells in survival multiplayer. Okay, I guess that simplifies things. It certainly does. Um, the question to you, sir, is... Well, let's go ahead and use what I have. Okay. Alright. Oh, you are Sir Gareth. I see how this works. Yeah, I chose Sir Gareth. Okay, gotcha. So we can't... I spells, but you are the hero character. Okay... I think that's how this is going to turn up anyway. What? You see this, right? I think I called that one. Yeah, I see that. Watch out, I might hit you in the head. Can you? Oh, yeah, no. I can definitely plink you, sir. Don't kid yourself. Yeah. Ow! Oh, yeah, I can plink you. <laughs> That's terrible. I do a lot of damage. Don't, don't jump in the way of my arrows of doom. Well, I've never had to deal with people shooting me from behind. <laughs> oh, shit. They might try and shoot you, too. Oh, God. Ow! Alright, I'm just not gonna shoot. Dude. I thought you said you could aim. Shoot for the stuff I, further back. I can't. All of my attacks have to go over your head. Which is. Watch out, you get. Uh, yeah. That. Alright, run back. I'm not sure how to regen health. I, I don't think you can. I think you die and then you get respawned over time or something. You're also very laggy on my screen. Very laggy. It's hard to, uh. Oh, yeah, it's a 15 second attention. respawn timer. Um. I'm. Pretty sure I'm not laggy. No, I'm saying on my screen. On my screen, it's it's very, very laggy. That's not a good thing. No. Wave completed. Awesome. Good work, team. Woohoo! Oh no, more enemies. That's unexpected. I oh, more... just got a shield up. I'm more... All right, I'm gonna shoot for the snipers, and you just take out the grunts, I guess, as best as you can. Okay. Ow! Yeah, you just got eagled, bro. They can do that? They can do that. They can't do that. Seems unfair. Oh, lordy. That guy's fast. Oh, hey, this is the fun part. Ow! Oh, no, just respawned. What a terrible respawn point! No! <laughs> no! That's horrible. Oops. I have this thing that I can do with my rocks. My rocks of happiness. Get it? Uh, I get my rocks off. <laughs> I I got it. <laughs> oh lord, these guys are about to wreck me here. Hey, go t turn around and come back and kill these guys. These uh, controls oh, are somewhat confusing. And I'm aiming for right the head, click, and it's attack, not. Left click for the small attack. Uh, hold left shift to. Uh... No, I know. I I've got all that. It's just when I aim. It always puts the cursor in the same place to the left, which That's is odd. never where I need to shoot. All right, I'm gonna start spawning you some friends. That would be rather helpful. You want me to just do long range? You want me to give you some uh, some short range guys too? Uh, I would love. Ow! Dang. Uh, you, you got a sheep incoming. Yeah. Not too worried. Um, did that just really happen? Did what? Did you just get murked? No, I just saw like a griffin flying through. Yeah, that would be my griffin. Uh, like my why griffin. am I getting targeted? This is not a good thing. Because the EI are everywhere. What if I can... Yes! I got the golem. Friendly golem is friendly. Oh my gosh, it's level 5. This is... This should not be this hard. Wave completed. Okay. All right, I'm that good. I'm good. Missed. Oh, they don't even have anything to destroy. Okay, well that's sad. Whew. I think they get whatever I have in terms of weapons. Actually, no, no, I don't have a sheep. 
Never mind. Ow! They can't... No, it's not fair that they can one-shot me. How is that fair? They one-shot the crap out of you, too. It's not even like a... Like a... And these freaking armored guys are just murderous. Is there a certain way that I'm supposed to level up? I don't... I don't think so. I think you're just ridiculously underpowered throughout the entire game. So... It's because I didn't upgrade the hero. You I didn't upgrade... Oh... That's... Kind of... Ridiculous, considering. Yeah. I would think that multiplayer and single player stats should be a little bit separated. Well, as I said, I mean, I have to use my, uh... Oh, lordy. They're gonna bang on the gate. I'm working on it. Oh, no. It's alright. They're done. Yeah. No, no, don't hit the gate. I'm dealing with terrible that? controls. You saw that knock him out of the air? You saw that? I did see that. Oh yeah. Wave 5. So, if we have gold... Can we spend that gold mid-game? No. Or I would have already upgraded you. I mean, I'm I'm here level 4 fighting level 10s. They can obviously upgrade mid-game. Shit. Oh, god dang, I hit you in the back again. I'm gonna transmutate the next high-level enemy, I, I see. Okay. Because I can do that. Actually, I'm gonna transmutate some of these, uh... Yeah, we could use a few griffins. Guys. Well, I keep spawning them and they're getting just destroyed. God, you see how many griffins they have? Yeah, they've got like five of them. There, there's, there goes some of them. Frick, alright, our gate's down. Yeah, I see that. And I just got one-shotted again. Uh, no, you... you no, to... I'm dead. Definitely again. Have... God, it is really hard to hit mid-air griffins. And it is really hard to even see where they're trying to shoot. My camera is kind of zoomed in, so I can't get a good perspective. Get you some friendlies. Ow! Or no, yeah. see, I I couldn't even see that that was coming in. Weak isn't the right word. And I'm dead again. Both oh, boys doing himself a good old, good old time. All right, wait, are you already responding? What? Again? I jumped in the air to get out of the way of the super golem. Griffin one shotted me in hey, midair. Speaking of. I Damn, spawned and then you saw that, right? Moves. I spawned and then I got stomped. Damn. So yeah, that was my experience with the Castle Storm co-op survival portion of the game. There were a few things that weren't very well explained. Uh, it was never explained that the hero in the battle gets pulled from whoever the host is. So if they decide not to level up their hero in their single player portion of the game, then the multiplayer portion of the game will suffer and the person playing as that hero will die over and over and over and over again. Um, aside from not explaining that, it was somewhat enjoyable, aside from the netcode being a little bit laggy uh, resulting in the person in control of the castle shooting me in the back multiple times. For the price of $10, I can't really say I would recommend this game. Uh, wait for it to go on sale if this looks like something you would like. I'm sure that there will be bug fixes later. However, right now, there are a few bugs, such as the netcode being laggy, uh, user interface errors, and other things that make the game not entirely responsive. Alright, thank you very much for watching my quick look of Castle Storm for PC. Bacon. Out.